So now we need to get uh, we need to find our uh, drill that you were foaming with Al. Okay. We're going to drill three screw holes in there. We're going to put three roof screw screws of washers. You get your top layout. Yeah. The guys on the uh, Dan. See the top layout. Yet? The top layout will be uh, three and a quarter. Okay. okay. That'll put me one inch down from the top. It'll give me. You know, I should hit that LVL just in the center at that point. Yeah, that's the bit they're using, right? Is that the bit you want, Dan? Uh, okay, Step now our... Our group crew is going to need something to stay on. Send something up for them that they can't walk around on safely, all right? Okay, so now uh, this panel uh, is essentially ready to set up on the roof, all right? So what we're going to do now is we are going to, on a panel this size, we're going to put a lifting plate on it, and we are going to uh, determine... to tear it off. I doubt you're going to get it off. All right. So, um, you know, as you get to a bigger panel, you're going to probably have to put fill all those holes with screws. But on something small, you know, uh, you know, you, you just, you know, depending on the on the, the the length of your lift and where it's going, you know, if it, if you're lifting over a lot of people and equipment and uh, someone else's house or something like that, you know, you might want to be real excessive with your screws. But uh, so that's basically ready to go. We have. Uh, our straps are all ready, and we have a we have a, a metal uh, what is this called? Carabiner. A metal carabiner that threads in and out, so it can be taken off. It can be put onto a different strap, and that's going to hook onto your roof hook. Now, this is the top of my panel, so maybe. Maybe, hopefully, with the lever down here and things like that, this, this panel is going to hang a little bit in plane. And so I've got this hook so that if it's pulling on this, it's, it's pulling this direction. You don't, want to, you don't necessarily want to pull that direction on this hook because it's, it, it is possible that this could like, bust its way out or something. So if you're pulling the proper direction on that hook, it's just a safer way to pull. So inch overhang or 12 inch whatever it is they'll measure it at the bottom at the top and that's what they'll use to determine the, um, the proper set of the panel and screw it down but in most houses the rake edge is not the long side of the roof plane itself it's typically the front or the eave overhang so the overhang here is more important and it's also important that the panel stay uh, true to the ridge so if you've got a structure that's a little bit out of square um, whatever the case may be you don't want to take your first panel, screw it down perfectly tight, and then put your second panel on and realize that something's running the skew and you start to get sawtooth in the bottom edge of your panel. So what we'll typically do is put 
two, three screws on the first panel, make sure it's secure, then bring the second panel into it. Now we have a longer run of the ridge line to verify with the ridge beam, and now we know we're running straight. You going in first? Yeah. We'll put that so you gotta come down the hill. Down, down, down. down. Go ahead and push two me if you want. I can take another quarter. I can take another quarter out of that.